Pistons made several runs, and each time that you you know, time every time you guys kind of got up by ten, they were able to kind of chip away and get back in it. But you guys responded every time. I'm curious, you know, what does that say about your team? What does it say about the development of your team that every time they kind of got tested, they were able to find an answer? Well, it's a good sign. Um, obviously, you want to try and limit you know your exposure to situations like that. We've seen runs get out of hand um, into the half. You know, they made a made a push. Um, and we were able to trade baskets there, but um, I thought second half, we, we were much better as far as anchoring ourselves in, in our defense. Um, got stops, we were able to get out and run a bit um, and had the big third quarter, but you know, those runs are gonna happen. So I think it's, you know, every time that happens, our, our ability to kind of bounce back um, is always good to see, but you know, sometimes it's, it's just lucky offense. You have to kind of really look at it and say, hey, are we doing the right things or are we just getting bailed out? You know, at times it's okay. You know, it's it's better than the alternative. But we want to make sure we're we're, we're clear with our process and, and you know our execution. Um, and I thought you know toward the end we were we were really good. And speaking of that third quarter, it looked like Kuzma came out of halftime much more aggressive. Was that um, conscious or did it just kind of flow that way for him? Well, yeah, he got going and we stayed with him. You know, I think he wound up playing the whole quarter. But you know, you, you ride a guy, he gets going, he gets. Uh, you know, starts making plays for himself or for others. And uh, you can give him the opportunity to stay out there. Uh, I thought he was, was, was solid on that end. Um, defensively, with the switching was solid. You know, they hurt us a little bit on the offensive glass. But uh, overall, uh, you know, I thought it was, you know, well-balanced. Career high, 15 rebounds for Denny, and three straight games and double figures. What have you seen from him lately and how he's responded to, um, you know, the opportunities presented to the young players right now? Oh, he's taking full advantage of it. Um, you know, it's not mistake free and I don't, we, no one expects it to be, but um, I love his effort. You know, I think he's, he's trying to understand, you know, trying to do the right thing. Um, but, you know, his overall effort is, is that gives him, that gives him a chance. You know, I think that's important. Um, defensively, he's been active, you, you know, he's trying to, trying to maintain the matchup and understand different tendencies and person, uh, personnel. Um, situations, he's doing a better job of uh, recognizing who he's guarding, how that, how, how do we want to handle those situations, um, and then the rebounding component. You know, it, you know, Kuz has shown his ability to do it. I think it's now <laughs> Denny's turn, but you know, those those guys, him, uh, Kuz and Rui. You know, we talked about those three wings, their size and, and the versatility they bring. It's just another dynamic, another dimension for us. Speaking of Rui, how is he feeling? Uh, you know, it took a, a, a bit of a spill, the sprained ankle, but uh, um, they're, they're going to take a look at it. And before I comment, I want to make sure the medical staff has a chance to look at it, you know, and, and see how he responds. I think he tried, you know, and I think uh, at half it got a little stiff on him. Um, but I'm hoping it's not, you know, anything severe. You know, he's still walking and moving, but, you know, it, it was a pretty good spring. How is Denny an effective rebounder? Is it just his height? Is it the location? Well, a lot of it is also his positioning. Um, it, there's a degree of want and will. You know, I think you see that quite often. Um, you know, a guy like Stewart, that's just kind of his mindset. That every shot's a miss, and I'm going to go chase it. Um, you know, I think for Denny and, and some of these other wings, it's – not just the brute force and strength, but, you know, reading the flight of the ball. Um, you kind of understand how to play angles and where the ball is going to come off. Um, and then you have to, there, there's a degree of anticipation, um, activity. Um, so all those things, I think, play into it. What is standing out to you about uh, the one-two punch you have at point guard right now and um, what both those guys bring and, you know, maybe the change of pace that Ish brings off the bench? Yeah, you know, I think that change of pace is good, you know, and, and I've challenged him to, you know, make sure you know, we're pushing with purpose. And I think it, at times it gets a little hectic, but, you know, as long as the ball is moving, we, we stay disciplined with our spacing, you know, usually good things happen. Um, you know, I think how he's been with us, so he has a better sense of, um, you know, our offensive system, you know, Ish doesn't really have, a, you know, a, a grasp of a lot of things uh, that we're running. So it's not, that's not his fault. Um, so allowing him to play free is, is you know, to his benefit. Um, how I think does a better job of keeping us organized, running sets, but both of them, it, it, it's a different dynamic of, you know, push pace, organization, but both of them guard. So, you know, it's a, it's a good thing to have.
Any questions for Coach on Zoom? Felix. Hello, Coach. Congratulations on the victory for tonight. And of course, with this game, I just had a question. What do you think, for the most part, was the difference between today and the games that happened in the recent past? Of course, this team was on a slump not too long ago. And what do you think are the adjustments that the team made, if any? Well, I mean, I, uh, the trade aside, I mean, I think that's a huge adjustment. But um, if you just factor in the other night, you know, this group played together. Um, offensively, the first half, I thought we were, you know, great. Ball was moving. Uh, 18 assists. Second half, we only had eight. So we stopped moving the ball, stopped sharing it. And that's why offensively, we started to struggle. Um, also, the other night, I thought, um, because we were scoring, we allowed the defense to take a back seat. Um, as opposed to tonight, you know, obviously fourth quarter had a big third quarter, but we struggled, you know, offensively, but we anchored ourselves in the defense. So we didn't let go of the rope on that side of the ball. And I think that's the most important thing. The biggest takeaway, regardless, make or miss, we, we have to, you know, stay locked in and, and, and defend. Thank you for your time, coach. Once again, congratulations on a victory tonight. Thank you. Um, Coach, uh, you mentioned uh, Denny's uh, 15 rebounds. Is that just a mindset thing? To, a, to an extent, you know, I think, you know, once again, a lot of things go into that. He's got great size, um, anticipation. And I think, uh, you know, he, it does take a little bit of effort, but that, that's another dynamic of our defense. You know, I've said it before, you can play great defense, but if we don't finish the possession, it doesn't count. So, um, you know, we, we wrap that into – you know, a whole possession. It's got to be a five-man mentality. Third quarter made a big difference for you guys, and, and that was a quarter in which you scored 17 points. What was working for you in that quarter? I just made my adjustments. Um, you know, just seeing what the um, defense was trying to do with me throughout the first half. And, um, you know, a lot of times they were just, you know, uh, plugging in gaps, didn't really have space to do a, a thing, switching. And then, um, you know, just took my time and, just made my adjustments and came out, came out aggressive and um, the floor opened up for me. What, what do you think, uh, what has kind of stood out to you about this group these last few games? Um, obviously changes made to the rotation, young guys playing more, just kind of what has stood out to you in, in the bigger picture? Um, you know, everyone is just accepting positive criticism well. And, um, you know, anytime you can do that, you know, that means that you can hold people accountable. And uh, that's for everybody. That's just not me. You know, if I'm messing up, um, Denny, anybody, they can say something to me and I'm going to hear them and understand it. And, you know, we're going to change things. So, you know, I think that's the number one thing, obviously that, but um, just the commitment to playing the right way. And that's super, super important. And, you know, uh, for most of the season, we haven't necessarily done that um, for multiple games. And I think, over these past three games, it's been uh, really refreshing to play this way, so. Now, you know what it takes to rebound at a high level. How does, how is Denny rebound at a high level? Um, only because I was playing a five and I had a box out steward all night. So um, <laughs> that's the only reason why I got 15, but I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. Good job, Denny. Yeah, track him. Yeah. Kyle, you said it was, um, you know, you came out of halftime and just kind of adjusted a little bit, but do you also consciously think, okay, we need a little bit more juice for me on offense and, and, and look to be more aggressive? Or, or is it literally just how the defense is playing? I think it's always, um, it's a little bit of both, but at the same time, it's always about, you know, taking what the defense gives you so you're not forcing it forcing action. And, um, you know, that's was what I did, you know, uh, it's keeping it simple, you know, attack when I had it. Um, if I didn't have a shot and getting off of it, but, you know, I, I knew that they would switch one through five and, um, you know, every time that happened, I would just bring it out, wait a second, pack to five and, uh, just figure it out on the move. And, um, you know, just try to attack what, or really just a counter what their game plan was. So, yeah. And what's it say about you guys that every time tonight that they kind of made a push, had a little bit run to get back into it, that you guys were able to kind of immediately answer? What's it say about you guys as a group? 
Uh, I mean, that, that was big time because if you look at us, um, the last game with uh, SAC, we had a lead. I think we we're up maybe 52 to 37 at one point. And then, you know, it's always like the last couple minutes of the first half where we struggle and uh, let let loose. End of quarters, we let loose. And, and tonight, you know, they, they punched us and we took the punch with studded and, um, you know, kept attacking and, and, you know, we held them under 95 points. And um, anytime you can do that, you know, you got a great chance to win the ball game. This is, um, I guess, the second time you've played against Cade Cunningham. I'm interested, just what are your impressions of him so far? Uh, well, he's getting better. Um, you know, he's a nice young prospect in this league. Um, he's got a bright future. You know, potentially a star in this league with, um, you know, you know how big of a green light he has uh, in Detroit, and you know he's taking advantage of it. You know, he's he's a very very cerebral, smart player at, to be at a young age. You know, his ability to, uh, hey, I mean, you've seen it tonight. You know, a lot of times, you know, we wanted to switch one through five. He took his time, and uh, played like he was six eight. And um, you know, whether that got getting to the paint or um, you know just making a simple play. And, um, you know, I think he's a winner. You know, he uh, makes all the little plays too, so. You mentioned the rotation already, but the starting five that you guys have run the last couple of games, I mean, where do you think you guys are chemistry-wise considering all the changes that you've had to go through over the last, you know, couple of weeks? Oh, I think we're great. I think we're great chemistry-wise. I think, um, you know, we got a pretty good understanding of, um, you know, roles right now on the team. Um, you know, everybody's gelling, fitting in. Um, you know, everybody's just doing what they're supposed to do. You know, whether that's Pope knocking down shots, Corey's been getting better and better every single game this year. Um, Howell was doing a great job getting downhill, getting in the paint, scoring a couple buckets, and, um, you know, so on and so forth off the bench. And, um, you know, I think we're in a great spot right now. If we can continue to close out, um, you know, this first half of the season before the break and, you know, just hit the ground running when, when it uh, continues. So, you mentioned Corey kind of getting better and better as he's kind of played more and, and you know, he's obviously going to have a chance to play some pretty significant minutes down the stretch, but where have you seen him get better from, you know, when he came in to, to this point in the season? Well, it's not that it's not that he's doing anything extra. You know, I think uh, he's just doing a good, good, great job of playing within himself. I love that he's more and more aggressive, just finding hunting shots and uh, not tell him all the time, like, yo, if you're not taking, 10 threes, you know, what are you out there for? So he's, um, he understands that, you know, he has that green light to shoot and he's firing with confidence. And um, I believe in him. I feel like every shot he takes is a great shot and it looks like it's going in. So, you know, the sky's the limit for him. You mentioned earlier about accepting criticism, positive criticism. How good is Denny at accepting criticism? Uh, he, he's really good. You know, he's a smart mouth sometimes, but at the same time, uh, at the same time, um, you know, he understands it's all love. He, it's coming from a good place. And, um, you know, everyone here, we want everyone to succeed, whatever that may be, um, to any certain extent, but, um, you know, he wants to be good and, you know, to be good, you have to be one to accept criticism and also be challenged. And, you know, he's just doing a great job of it, so. Last question on you. Hey, Kuz, not necessarily specific to this game, but generally coach was talking about, you know, he wants to see more confidence out of Denny. Is that something that you can help get out of a teammate? And if so, what are some of the things you try and do? I mean, you can always cheer on a teammate or tell a teammate to be aggressive, but um, at the end of the day, you got to be confident in yourself, you know, because if you're not confident in, in yourself, then no one is going to be confident in you. So, um, you know, that that comes from within. That comes from, you know, working every single day, which he does. And um, he loves the gym. You know, he's always in the gym before practice, after practice, and he comes back at night. So, um, shit, I mean, you work that hard, you should be confident. So, cool. Thanks, Coos. Another good out today. Thanks, boss. The dynamic change in the rotation at the trade deadline, and in these last three games, uh, you've reached double figures in each of them. Um, what have you liked about the way you've played since kind of the rotation was shaken up? I feel like having the um, confidence to be more aggressive, 
create more for others, have the ball a little more. Um, just in general, like how the ball moves in offense is, is great. It feels great. Uh, we share in the ball. It looks it looks great and, and generates uh, a lot of shots for others. And I'm, I'm part of the players that uh, love to play make and, and get guys shot, so can't complain. Kuz has talked about, uh, you know, the, the growth of all the young players and kind of learning how to win at the NBA level. Mm -hmm. What have you learned since you've been in the NBA about, like, what is required to, to win at this level? I've learned that winning is not easy. You know, you're facing a different opponent almost every game, and every team got their talent. Every team can win in this league, and um, you need, just need to be focused and, and, and win as a team. Uh, keep your hand in the game and um, just play together. Because no, but no, none of us can do it alone. And I feel like if we're going to have good chemistry, we're going to keep sharing the ball, keep being good on offense and defense. I think we have a bright future. What has made you an effective rebounding ball lately? Um, just being more aggressive in general, like know where the ball, uh, what spots the ball will hit, and like things that you, um, Learn is like you, I think, more mature. Um, I feel more strong, too. I've been working a lot on my body. And um, in general, I'm just being in the pain and, and helping my teammates get getting those boards. Uh, for mentioned Kyle, and I'm mm -hmm. curious, what kind of influence that had on you just as an older player? Kyle's great. Um, he's generally great all around, off the court, how uh, how he talked with me on the court. He gives me a lot of confidence. We're working on uh, on our game together a lot, and uh, we give we give each other um, a lot of notes, a lot of things. Like, we listen to each other, and that's, that's the most important. We communicate, and we have a great friendship. We have a great friendship. Hopefully, we can win a lot together and, and grow together and, and bring this team um, to great things. <laughs> Did any has this last week felt like a reset of sorts where you know kind of throw out the that last rough stretch from before the trade deadline and kind of be able to kind of refocus with a new group and well not completely new group but you know what I mean kind of with a new kind of I guess I don't know if it's new focus but the way you guys kind of kind of go at it with new folks yeah for sure I feel like we're more engaged uh, this change also changed a little bit our roles. Everybody needs to um, do a little bit more. You know, we were short on rotation. Uh, I mean, KP still needs to come back. And um, uh, we're excited, man. Like, we just keep our heads in the game, do what we need to. Everybody knows their role. We just keep sharing the ball, as I said. And I think we can do great things. I think uh, the change, I mean, we need it. We needed a change. And... Um, it's 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 a progress. So it's going to take some time, and um, I believe in this team. Specifically, what kind of advice from Kuz um, has been most helpful for you? Just like being aggressive, he always like um, tells me to be more aggressive. Like he always tells me, "Hey, you're six nine, you're two two thirty. Like you, you need to start using your body more." And and I learned how to do it in the NBA level more and more. It wasn't easy for me, especially because of the injury. Um, but Kuz makes sure that we, when we work on our game, like being physical, <clears throat> create the contact, and um, yeah, he has great advices. Neil. Hey, Denny, I'm, I'm curious, did you have any, maybe not, but any prior relationship with Kristaps Porzingis, or how has it been like, you know, getting to know him the last couple of days? AP is great. I, th I think the only, the fr <clears throat> sorry, the first thing he told me when I got into the locker room is uh, he's going to beat me in FIFA. And uh, I know uh, we have, uh, <laughs> we started a good relationship. So um, excited to be with him on the court. Uh, great guy, uh, great teammate looks like. And um, yeah, I mean, in general, I, I'm, I'm excited. Yep. And kind of generally coach talked about you know, he wants you to take shots with confidence. You know, you're generating the right types of shots. He wants you to just, you know, go out there and shoot it with confidence. How would you assess your current confidence level right now? I think it's on a rise. Um, I didn't shoot consistently uh, to, uh, throughout the season, I feel like. But I feel as I'm getting the reps 
uh, and staying after practices and coming in late and getting the shots, it helps me. It helps me uh, be, in, be focused and believe in my shot. And I feel like I'm mature and be a complete player. Uh, the shots will will fall better, and I'll be more confident. And I feel like it's it's gonna be a it's gonna be a good good thing in the future. Thanks, Danny. I like Thank the shirt. You. Thank you.